kids, so if you read the title, I am scared to have kids. But, you know, it's not like I was just sitting there one day and I was like, hmm, you know what? <laughs> Random thought. I'm scared to have kids. No, 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 no. This goes back so much farther than that. So when I was a little kid, I would do some things that, well, thinking back on it are actually pretty annoying. So this video right here is based off of things that I did when I was a kid that looking back on it are one, really weird, two, really annoying, honestly, kind of surprised that my mom didn't put me up for adoption, and three, honestly can't think of a third thing, and this is also based off of other kids that were either my friends or my friends' siblings. So enjoy this video and I will see you in one second. Baby Wren, please leave the bowl there. Do not touch the... Baby Wren, please stop. Leave the bowl here. Thank you. Baby Wren, that bowl... What is wrong with you? Leave the bowl here, please. Thank you. Much better, thank you. Baby Brent, oh, darn it. Oops. What, what did I do? Now that one right there is the number one thing on this whole entire video that would drive me the most insane. If my kids ever did that, well, I don't even know what I'd really do. I guess I'd just drive down to a coffee shop, abandon them at the house, oh. God, this is not sounding good. Um, you know, future adoption people, if I decide to adopt or something, just skip over this video. I want you to keep in mind in this next clip that I literally remember doing this. I was probably about six to eight, somewhere in that range. So I was actually pretty old, but I remember going in the front yard and literally doing this. <gasps> Who wants a snack? Honey, we don't need dirt around here. I don't know what weird stuff you do and... Uh, please get that out of your mouth. You're gonna get sick. Every time that I look back on this memory and I'm just thinking how crazy I must have been, how weird of a kid I must have been. Literally, like, I lived on two, like, decently busy roads. What were the people driving by thinking? Were they just driving by like, oh, there's a kid eating dirt? Or were they like, um... Oh gosh, maybe we'll leave those parents a note in the mailbox. Those poor parents, they're gonna have to deal with a kid that's gonna get sick all the time and oh, who knows what diseases are in that dirt. <gasps> what if there's bugs in it? I mean, honestly, let me know in the comments down below, what would you do if you were driving past a house and then all of a sudden you just see one of their kids out in the front yard eating a literal handful of dirt enjoying it? <laughs> Okay, behind the scenes, this next clip. So when I was a whole lot younger, like I'm talking like really young, like literally this tall, my family used to have like this baking day sort of thing around the holidays and I really liked it, but I would do weird stuff like this. Hey baby Ren, do you want granola bars? Hmm, what if we had frosting and sprinkles? <gasps> I'm giving you the honorary duty of putting on the frosting and the sprinkles. Okay, sprinkle time. Whew. Sprinkles are the hardest part, okay? I really want you to be careful with this and I know that you can do this because you have done so good at so many other things. Now you don't want to add on too many sprinkles and make sure that you get them all on the plate because if you get them all over the place, well, you're gonna have to clean them up and no one really wants that, do they? That is a lot of sp One second, I'll be right back. Um, baby Ren, I thought we were gonna share the sprinkles. Why are you already eating them? On to the next clip. Hey baby Ren, you wanna play hide and seek? It's one of our favorite games. I know, you go hide first and then I'll come find you. Two, one, 
Here I come! Oh, where's baby Ren? Are you over here? No. Are you over here? No. I see you, baby Ren. There you are. No, you don't. I can't see you. You don't see me. Okay. Are you over here? no idea what I'd do if my kid did this. Like, I guess I'd keep looking for them, but for how long? Okay, so conclusion of this video, I'm probably never going to be a babysitter, and I may or may not have kids. And if I do, well, I guess I'll have to hope for the best, because either I'm going to have an angel child like me, according to my mom. By the way, pretty sure that was a cover-up. I was most likely the spawn of Satan when I was younger, or... I will have a literal kid that is the spawn of Satan. Either way, I will update you guys on that one in case you stay around that long on either my vlog channel or this channel, which by the way, my vlog channel is so dead that it's not even funny. Like I have a banner up there that says like, coming back January 10th, 2017. Well, it's almost about, what is it, four months later than that? Like, Ren, I seriously think you've procrastinated a little bit too long. Like, I've procrastinated on videos before. Okay, that's slightly a lie. I've maybe skipped about five videos on my YouTube career, aka I'm not making any money yet. But that is just too much procrastination. Like, yes, I have laid in my bed for an hour after waking up because I didn't want to get out of my warm, cozy bed. I've done some really lazy stuff. I've like laid on the couch all day, ate ice cream, watched movies, but honey, Ren, this is a no to you while you're editing. Are you kidding me? Four months of not posting. Anyways, long story short on that, I'm trying to bring that back and I'm filming for my vlog channel right now. Anyways, let me know in the comments down below what you'd do if you had a demon child. And, well, if you ever think you're going to have kids, or if you have kids right now, I don't know, maybe you guys are like 30 years old. Anyways, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I look like a mad scientist because of my hair. And believe in yourself, you can do anything. I will see you guys soon. And... <laughs> By the time you guys are watching this, I will have gone to my first two classes of driving school, so, you know, wish me luck on that one. Peace out.